Medvovnik. He's one of the Lamedvov Tzadikim that started. How come nobody knows it? I'll explain to you right now. Lipa. Lipa is one of the Lamedvov Tzadikim, right? So what do you do? Once upon a time, Reb Zusha came into our class and he gave us a um, lecture on the uh, Kavad of Svarim. And one of the things he mentioned was, someone wrote this, that the Ebishter never allowed Svarim, Yiddish Svarim, to be burned by Goyim on Il Mole until Yidin went and burnt it by themselves. Meaning, he never told us the historical facts of what, how, who burnt what. But uh, it was basically, I think, it was people burning, uh, it was Yidin burning Gemaris because there were fights with Frankisten and all that. So, and Yidin were appealing to the Christians to burn the Gemaris because the Zoyar and the Kabbalah, the psychosomatic, uh, more psychosomatic influenced style of Kabbalah, maybe it was Abu Lafia, is more in favor with uh, the theology of Christianity. And the Talmudists, the Paskim, are the enemies. This was the divides, fights, rifts, who cares? It's not a new thing today either. But when you're talking about a guy like Lipe, you have to understand, he's going to be remembered, Ledeide Deides, as a Tzaddik. Today he's a Tzaddik Nister, but how many guys know that Lipe is a Tzaddik Nister? But, but he's going to be remembered as someone who made it better for Klau Yisrael. And Muhammad is going to be someone that was more Mahmir to keep the claw exactly and the uh, Sabri on chopping off heads all day because it's a mitzvah skill is reifah so whenever a Yid lays his hand on a Yiddish lady the crown of the house the Akedah Sabayis the Shechina and cuts off her hair then at Chman land we know from the Churban in Irape, what when Goyim were shaving off Yidin's heads, men and women. And they were in Mavchim between Payas and a lady, they didn't understand the Kedusha, nothing. The minute a Yid lays his hand, whether it's in a democracy like America, and even a democracy can't control um, uh, a situation where you force someone because they have more to lose than to gain. So a boss could abuse his employee as long as the employee has more to lose, he has children at home that are hungry and he has to make a bar mitzvah and you could abuse the shit out of him, you could call him names you could be mashpul the guy that when it comes Shabbos you see the guy, is, his Shabbos is Tisha because the whole week he was insulted by his boss but his, he has the best job, you understand? So, so you could always cut off a girl's hair but the only crime that the girl has is that she was born geographically into the wrong area in the wrong neighborhood, in the wrong family you could tell her it's Kedusha, Vitare. The Ebishta gave us America for a reason. That the church and Rahman al-Islam, Islam, shouldn't force religion on people. So you can't use the Ebishta as, as the, the, the excuse. You want to cut off a woman's hair, just say, in the Kuril and all the fathers of the church who made, who created Christianity and, and Muhammad and the Sayyidah who created Islam. But don't touch Moshe Rabbeinu Vesayrasi. Because Moshe Emes Vesayrasi Emes. So Lip is going to be remembered as a tzaddik. The word tzaddikim that made predictions and at the time they were remembered as, they were looked at as tzaddikim, giluyim. And after Lidaitis, they were not more, any more tzaddikim because their predictions were wrong because they had the wrong microscopes and the wrong telescopes. They had the wrong technology and they had the wrong evidence. But Lipe is speaking humanity. He's going to be rem- remembered by the Yidden and the Goyim. And the Goyim line lahavdu the Yidden as a person that was good. Thank you and uh, welcome to Shani Vachamishi.